What's up, everyone? My name's Johanna. I'm Ariane, and welcome to the cool down. We are fresh off of a workout, cooling down and teaming up with Cool Sculpting to answer your burning questions about cool sculpting. What better way to cool down than with popsicles, right? You're right on that one because without icy cold popsicles, I would have never have been able to get rid of this excess fat in my lower abdomen. A few decades ago, the New England Journal of Medicine published this article about the kids who, after eating some frozen treats, they lost fat in their cheeks and developed dimples. A couple of Harvard doctors thought this was pretty cool, and from the article, they went on to develop a process called cryolipolysis. Which, for those of you that do not know, it's commonly referred to as fat freezing. Essentially, controlled cold temperatures permanently destroy treated fat cells with cryolipolysis, causing them to die off and be removed from treated areas by the body's natural processes. So it's particularly effective for reducing stubborn fat, the kind that often doesn't respond to diet and exercise. Uh, yeah, like my stomach, I could sit here and spin for days and not get the same results. Same for me. I mean, these love handles, let me tell you. Cool Sculpting underwent clinical trials in 2008, and in 2010, Cool Sculpting was first FDA cleared to freeze away stubborn fat and is now cleared for nine areas of the body. And the rest, as they say, is history. This popsicle is suddenly tasting a lot better right now. Okay, now that you know the history of Cool Sculpting, there's so much more to get into when it comes to this amazing treatment. So please like, subscribe, be sure to check out the next episode of The Cool Down and visit CoolSculpting.com for more information on how you can schedule a consultation. You ready to get it? You know I'm always ready to get it. Let's get off. Okay, okay. Yeah, I need a break. I, th I think you need a little break too. Okay, bye.